All right, so today I'm gonna to do a quick overview of the two latest um, helmet mounts that we finished. This is for the Fly Trekker and for the Fly Kinetic helmet. Uh, this basically completes the lineup of Fly helmets, uh, at least for their current lineup. I know we have the Formula and the F2 helmets as well. So with these four, I think that's most of their major off-road helmets. So some of the cool features uh, about these helmets is that uh, they are helmet specific. You can see these are two vastly different mounts uh, from each other. Designed around all the air vents um, and to get the most amount of contact surface area uh, so that they don't fall off. They are mounted with double-sided 3M mounting tape. And not only are they designed uh, for the curvature of the helmet in the mounting area, but they're also set a specific distance. The, the mounting forks are set a specific distance from the helmet so that way you can get parallel view of the horizon uh, while you're riding, especially when you're standing up and you're more in the attack position. Uh, you can get that tilt back angle so that way it's not like you're just looking at the ground, um, you're actually getting some of the horizon. So one of the things that we've done with these mounts is that we've gone and we've reversed the screw direction. You can see it goes through this way. And the reason that we did that was because with these newer GoPros, both the 8, 9, and 10, or I guess all three of them, uh, they all have the side battery door, and that's on this, I guess, right side, depending on which way you're looking at it. But it's on the right side of the, the camera. And with this screw being on the other direction, uh, it doesn't get in your way when you're trying to open the battery door to change out batteries or SD cards. Uh, it just makes it easier for you to change batteries on the fly without having to pull off. Uh, the camera altogether. We've gone and we've um, implemented some of these little tick marks along the side here. And the cool thing about that is it's more relevant on ADV helmets because you're probably going to be sitting down. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we've made these mounts to incorporate a tip back angle. Um, and generally what I try to do is make it so that the camera sits so that it can get a tip back angle that's, that's parallel with the top of the eye port here. You know, that's fine when you're standing up and you're kind of in the attack position, but if you're sitting down, your, your helmet might be a little bit more like that. And so uh, what we've done is incorporated these tick marks on the side here, so that way you can get a visual reference uh, if you wanted to set it more forward and you wanted a consistent, easy way to, to get that, um, that angle, uh, you'd have that as a visual reference. So a few people have asked us whether or not uh, our mounts work with the media mod, and we've designed all of these so that they will. Uh, you get the tilt back angle, you have enough space kind of all the way around to get that in there if you want to run the media mod, especially on the larger um, Hero 8 and Hero 9 cameras. A couple of things to note, when GoPro made the media mod, they intended it to go in from right to left or left right depending on which way you're looking at it um, and with our reverse screw direction we don't get to take advantage of this little notched out area here which actually turns out to be fine you can see that the media mod is a little bit thicker on this side and when the GoPro screw goes in this way you kind of have to you don't have as much of the end of it to grab onto whereas when it is mounted on this side the GoPro still fits in fine, but you can get a big, better grip on the end of the handle here, so it's actually easier to tighten down anyways. But yeah, I, I mean, I just think it's easier and it's, it's better all the way around, no matter if you're using the media mod um, on a bigger camera or not. One thing to note as well is that uh, we sell the standard screw with a mount. Uh, it's not longer or anything like that. Just uh, We've heard some people say that our screws are longer. It's not true, we just sell a standard mount or, or a standard screw that you would get with any GoPro, um, so it works fine, it's just the same thing. So, real quick, I just wanna to touch on the specific benefits of chin mounting your GoPro. Um, we've used just about every single mounting position you can imagine, whether it's to the side of the helmet, at the top of the helmet, uh, chest rigs. The biggest benefit, I think, to chin mounting is that it gives you that kind of depth of field that you don't get from mounting it on top. Like when you have a camera that's mounted up on top, you know, it's probably eight to 12 inches of difference between the top of the helmet and the chin mounting position. And that top of the helmet kind of point of view makes it look like you're looking down on everything, whereas having it mounted in the chin makes you kind of feel like you're in it, like it's like a first person kind of point of view, while still giving you that, that first person perspective of being able to turn your head and kind of see what the, the rider is seeing, which is a big deal. Uh, I think it, it adds a lot of, uh, a lot better video footage quality 
um, and just a better experience for the viewer. So one of the things that uh, is an added value or benefit to uh, the chin mounting position, it's not really specific to ours, although ours do keep all the air vents clear, so you might get a little bit more value out of that, uh, is that you get better audio reception uh, with the GoPro being right here in front of your mouth. Uh, you get you know really clear vocal pickup. Uh, whereas if it's up here, it's going to sound a little more faint, probably going to get a little bit more wind noise. The last thing, and probably one of the more important things actually, is that when you have the GoPro mounted on the side of your helmet, on the top of your helmet, it's more exposed to being knocked or, or hit by a branch or something like that. You're not going to be able to see, you're not going to know, uh, you know, best case scenario, it's pointed up at the sky and your footage is completely lost because you don't get to see anything. Or if your camera gets knocked off altogether, which, you know, could happen very easily. Um, so I think all around GoPros should be mounted on the chins of helmets just because it's more protected, uh, better audio pickup, and, and just a better point of view overall. One of the cool things about at least this helmet specifically, and I try to do this with all the ADV helmets because a lot of them have this air vent little tab here. In this case, like I wasn't able to point it out far enough to like really make it easy for you to get in here. It's not like uh, those cheap Amazon uh, mounts where you can't even have access to that vent. I guess, worst case scenario, if you were cruising along and you decided you wanted that vent open, you could tip the camera forward, open it, and then tip it back. I think that that is just more accessible than it would be with some of the other chin mounts. Um, and that's just in the benefit of having it built all around the, the vent so that it's not covering anything up. So lastly, I uh, just want to go over what you're going to get when you buy one of our mounts. Uh, obviously, you'll get the mount itself. Uh, it'll come with a screw and uh, you'll get a couple of stickers um, as well and an alcohol wipe and this is for cleaning your helmet when you get it if your helmet's dirty at all you're going to want to make sure you wipe it down and make sure all the finger oils or anything like that are off of it and so it gets the, the best kind of adhesion to the helmet. So real quick on mounting these the first thing I like to do after I swab it with the alcohol pad uh, is fit the mount up to the helmet just to make sure I know exactly where it's supposed to go. These things are very precise, precise. They're designed to mesh to the helmet all the way around. And if you get it on a little bit crooked, uh, you might get little gaps uh, where it's not sticking all the way around and it might fall off. So make sure you know uh, where it goes onto the helmet and more importantly, kind of how far into the helmet it goes. And the reason being, if you get it on too far, it'll put too much pressure towards these inner edges here and that'll cause it to uh, have a gap on the back edge along the back line, and that will make it so it doesn't mount up as, as well. So once you understand where the mount goes and how far in it goes, I like to hold the helmet between my knees and pull back on the mounting wings, put it in you know, the right depth where you know it's supposed to go, and then release it. And then you'll have like a few seconds where the tape isn't fully stuck. You can kind of wiggle it around if you need to a little bit. But once you get it in place, you know it's right, uh, just press down on the outside edge and um, should be stuck there. The tape is waterproof, so you don't really need to worry about getting it wet or anything like that. Um, if it's mounted up right all the way around, all the edges are, are stuck down, uh, you should never have a problem with these things falling off. All right, so that's uh, all I have to say about these chin mounts. Uh, if you want one of them, you can look in the description below. Uh, we'll put a link to our store down there. Uh, we have like roughly 60 of these done so far. So if you don't have one of these two fly helmets, there's a pretty good chance that uh, we do have the helmet you're looking for. So, I mean, it's like kind of the main name brand helmets. Also, if you want to see the kind of point of view that you'll get with one of these, you can check out our Instagram. Also, there will be a link in the description below and that um, like all the POV footage that you're seeing there is filmed using these mounts. So it'll kind of give you that idea of what that looks like. If you like the videos we're putting out, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, catch you next time.